Hi, in this video we are going to talk about quicksort algorithm using Hoover's partition. We have already talked about quicksort algorithm using Lomudo partition. We are talking them separately because our main quicksort algorithm changes according to partition. Also different academic environments, they teach different partitions. So let's understand quicksort considering Hoover's partition. The idea of quicksort is this, you have a partition algorithm which takes a pivot, divides your area elements around that pivot. So your Hoover's partition, it considers first element as a pivot. It puts all the smaller than or equal to elements on left side and all the greater than or equal to elements on right side. So your different partitions can be sorted independently and your whole array becomes sorted. Let's take this example. Using Hoover's partition, we consider it as a pivot. And when you call Hoover's partition, what happens? All the elements which are smaller than 8, they go to the left side and all the elements which are greater than or equal to 8, they go to the right side. This is how your Hoover's partition, partition your algorithm. 5, 4, 7, 3, they go on the left side. 9, 10, 8, they go on the right side. Now, if you sort these arrays independently, if you sort them independently, right? If, if I sort this, I'll get 3, 4, 5, 7. If I sort this, I'll get 8, 9, 10. I don't have to do anything extra after that. I just have to do the partition. And after partitioning, if I sort this independently and sort this independently, my whole array is sorted. If I sort this sub array of my array independently and this sub array independently, because all these small elements are smaller than or equal to all these elements. So if they are sorted and they are sorted, there is no element which is going to be move on this side and there is no element which is going to be move on this side. So if they are sorted independently, you are done. So in quick sort, your main function is partition function that partitions the array around the pivot and once the partitioning is done, you just have to recursively call left part which is smaller or equal to right part which is greater than or equal to. That's all. That's all your uh, quick sort logic is. So there is a base condition which says that there should be at least two elements to sort. If you have only one element to sort, then nothing to be done. Right, so L smaller than H means there should be at least two elements to sort. So when that is the case, you find the partition point by calling the partition algorithm. Then you call quick sort from L to P and then you call quick sort from P plus 1 to H. So if you take a look at this array example, your L is 0, your H is 6 and this is considered as pivot by Hoover's algorithm. And after partitioning, what happens, your left array becomes this and right array becomes this. And your Hoover's partition returns an index 3, right? Which means elements from 0 to 3 are smaller than or equal to elements from 4 to 6. That's what Hoover's partition guarantees. So what do you do? You get 3 as an output in the partition here. So you initially passed 0 and 6 to the partition function. And we have already talked about this partition function. If you have not seen the Hoover's partition video, it's strongly recommended that you see that video first. So what that video does, that returns 3. So P becomes 3. Now what do we do? We call from 0 to 3. And then we call from 4 to 6. And if we sort them independently and sort them independently, our whole array is sorted. We don't need to do anything more. So there is nothing after this line. You just have to sort these two sub arrays independently. So let's do a dry run of this algorithm with this example. Let's see what all happens when you run this algorithm. So you initially pass 0 and 6 to this quick sort function. I have written QS here, which means this Q sort only, right? We have to type it again and again. So I have used the short form here. So L is 0 initially and H is 6. Now we call the Hoover's partition function and what this function does, it modifies this array to 5, 4, 7, 3 and then 9, 10, 8. That's what this function does and it returns you this index P. 
right? So you get PS3. Now what do you do? After you get this PS3, you go to this recursive call, right? And when you come to this recursive call, you call from L2P, which means you call from 0 to 3. So you call from 0 to 3, the partition function is called again in this recursive call. So let's see how does this 0 3 call work. So when you call from 0 to 3, you again begin from here. 0 is smaller than 3. So you will come here and you will again call the partition function for 0 to, 0 to 3. So you will call partition for this array. And what partition function will do? It will rearrange this array as 3, 4, 7, 5. So I'm directly writing the output of partition function everywhere because we have already talked about Hoover's partition. And your partition function will return you this index, which is 1. P is 1, right? So what will you do? After partition is over, you will call from 0 to 1, L2P, right? That's what we do here, right? So when you call from 0 to 1, you again begin execution from here with these indexes. Since L is smaller than H, you will come inside. When you come inside, you will again call partition and Hoover's partition. So Hoover's partition is called for 3 to 4. And what this partition does, it makes this array 3 to 4 only. It keeps the array as it is. If you run the Hoover's partition algorithm and it returns you pivot index as 0. This is what your new P is, right? So you call from L to P, which means 0 to 0 and then you call from p plus 1 to r which means 1 to 1 right so you have two calls after it 0 to 0 and 1 to 1 so 0 to 0 call will begin from here and it will see l is equal to h now so it will immediately return right so your this call returns immediately and this call this will also see that l is equal to h so it will also return so your caller gets the control back it has done the partitioning called quick sort for left half called quick sort for the right half right and it is done so it will also finish immediately this call will also finish immediately it will give the control back to the caller so caller which had done the partition had called for the left half and left half is now sorted now will call for the right half right right half is seven five right so whoever's partition is called for this array so when you call for this array what happens your array changes from 75 to 57. So when you change it to 57, you again call from 2 to 2 because this is your pivot, new pivot return and 3 to 3. These two calls, they come here and they immediately finish because they have only one element, right? So they don't go inside. So once this is done, it sorts the array to 57, gives the control back to the caller and caller has now complete array sorted 3, 4, 7, uh, 3, 4, 5, 7. After doing this, your caller gives control back to the main function, this function. And this now calls this part. And this part is also going to call recursively this way and ultimately going to sort the array as 8, 9, 10. Right. Now caller has both the parts sorted 3, 4, 5, 7 and 8, 9, 10. It does not have to do anything more and caller also finishes and your whole array is sorted. When we implemented quick sort using Lomuda partition, we called quick sort from L to P minus 1. This is where Hoover's partition differs from Lomuda partition. Lomuda partition ensures that the pivot is fixed at its correct position. Then it calls for the left half and right half and it calls for left half from L to P minus 1 right because p is fixed it goes to its sorted position where it should be in the sorted array but horse partition on the other hand does not guarantee that thing what it does it ensures that the element on the left side are smaller than or equal to elements on the right side right and it returns you index of the last element of left side so that's what is done by horse partition it does not fix any element at its correct position it only partitions that is why we call the recursive quick sort from L to P, right? Not to P minus 1 when we are using Hoover's partition. And we other recursive call is same. Other recursive call is same in both Hoover's partition and Lomuta partition. Hoover's partition 
is much faster than Lomuto partition in general. There have been studies which say that Hoover's partition is three times faster than Lomuto partition on average. However, like Lomuto partition, Hoover's partition is also not stable. We did an example of an area where all the elements are same in the Hoover's partition video. And we saw that the elements were changing their positions, even if they were same. That makes it unstable. There is one naive partitioning algorithms that we discussed. That's the partitioning algorithm which is stable. These two, Lomuto and Hoover, are not stable.